Let's just say I have a very love and hate relationship with Wreckfest. As much as I enjoy it, the problems I have with it really ruin the experience for me. Wreckfest is not a bad game, let me put that straight out and forward here. But like every game, it has its problems, and these are my complaints with Wreckfest. Currently, you only have one version of a vehicle, so you have to manually switch out parts and paint schemes. Some cars are definitely better suited for either just racing or derbies, but there are plenty of cars that can do both with the right upgrades and span multiple engine classes. Not having an easy way from switching from a racing build to a demo build, switching engine classes, or even switching to your own custom paint scheme presets really sucks. Admittedly, Bugbear has never really gotten the sense of speed right. This all compounds in Wreckfest due to multiple issues. The first issue being the camera. The third person camera stays very static, with no camera shake, no camera movement, and no change in FOV. I understand that many might like this, but having those options to get a more cinematic camera would help make the vehicles feel much faster. However, this lack of speed comes down to more than just camera work, as it's also due to the map design and vehicle handling. Don't get me wrong, having tight map design and heavy vehicle handling isn't a problem, but when every single map is a complicated track design that doesn't let you reach your top speed or have vehicles open up, it's pretty disappointing. To highlight this problem, I'm going to show footage from a Steam Workshop map Look at how good it feels due to its long straights and lack of sharp turns. If they had more maps like this, it would not only solve the speed issue, but it would also give the gear ratio tuning much more of a reason to be tweaked when going from a tight, corner-filled course to a long, straight track. Wreckfest Career has to be one of the worst I've ever played. I'm not exaggerating by any means. How it's designed just sucks the fun out of this game. Firstly. Since most of the events are based on you getting first place every time, you have to get to the front of the pack and stay there for the rest of the race, as if you fall behind, it's very hard to catch up. In derbies, you're better off not hitting cars as much, just to be the last one left alive, and this is even worse when you're on realistic and intense damage modes. You are essentially forced not to bash with people as it would put you at a huge disadvantage. If I wanted to play a game that punishes me for crashing and smashing people, then I would play Drive Club. Secondly, let's say you didn't get some secondary objectives or failed to get first in a series that has multiple races. Instead of letting you replay that particular race in that series, you have to do all the races over again. I also hate that I lose all my progress in one series if I go to play a different event. Why can't I pick off where I left in that series? Lastly, the secondary objectives I mentioned hurt this game extremely badly. Some of them force you to take a passive role. Win at least by 50 meters, finish in the top 3, finish first, lead the length of 1 or 2 laps, etc. How can a vehicular combat game encourage you not to engage with the vehicular combat? Even with the secondary objectives that encourage car combat, it can be extremely difficult to pull off wreck three opponents, crash out three opponents, etc. With such short courses and limited lap counts, those can be a real pain to complete, even when not going for first place. I decided that in the rest of my playthrough, I would ignore all these secondary objectives and not care if I got first place. In doing this, the game completely changed for me. I was no longer stressed out and just played the game like it was meant to be played. 
Having not only the requirements of getting first, but also these secondary objectives absolutely ruins the career, on top of the other pet peeves on how series events are handled. I know they can do better, as their tournament mode is miles better than the career, even though it has its problems too. At least in tournament events, it's not always about getting first place, but getting points from car combat to secure a win. So what's my problem with tournament mode then? While tournament mode is way better than career, its fame points sour the experience. Fame points are what you get from completing events, and allows you to buy the exclusive tournament mode items. I don't mind that the fame points are separate from the credits you earn in career, but the payouts are just too small. And since you can't get more fame points from just repeating the events, you have to wait until they reset. At the time of the Wasteland Wrecker season, the total cost of everything in the tournament store is 400,000 fame points. And don't forget that this will increase in the next season. So let's say you decided that in the beginning of the new season, you do all the challenges every day, every week, and get gold in every challenge. To get the amount of points needed to get all those items, you would have to play two seasonal challenges, five weekly challenges, and 134 daily challenges over a five week period. I left a Google spreadsheet down in the description if you wanna see the breakdown. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'm really starting to get sick of coming back over and over again just to play similar events for week payouts. You just have to spend too much time getting the points to get the stuff that you want. With Bugbear still making updates to Wreckfest for the time being, I hope these points I brought up are addressed. Like I said, overall Wreckfest isn't a bad game. It's really fun, but these issues really sour the experience for me. I want a good single player experience and I just don't get that, along with the other issues like not having vehicle presets and really lackluster sense of speed. This has been Gamer Alex. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a nice day.